Royal Enfield invites you on a journey to witness the world's longest enduring legacy in motorcycling. From its humble needle-making origins, the company graduated to manufacturing bicycles. In 1893, a prestigious order was won to supply precision parts to the Royal Small Arms Factory of Enfield. In celebration, the latest range of bicycles were called Royal Enfield. Not long after, the first Royal Enfield motorcycle was unveiled to the world. In 1926, a major fire broke out at the 18-acre Redditch factory, the plant being saved only by the decisive action of the company's in-house fire brigade. Production continued, and soon after, in 1932, the company gave birth to the iconic Bullet, an up-to-date, versatile Royal Enfield of its time. During World War II, Royal Enfield designed the world's first airborne motorcycle. Almost 8,000 flying fleas were made, with many being dropped at the Battle of Arnhem and the D-Day invasion. The innovation continued apace after the war, with Royal Enfield pioneering the first British motorcycle with swinging arm rear suspension paving the way for the 500 twin and a dynasty of Royal Enfield twins. Royal Enfield's close association with India was first forged in 1952 when Madras Motors received an order for 800 350cc bullets from the Indian Army. This was quickly followed by the founding of Enfield India in 1955. In 1964, the iconic 250cc Continental GT Cafe Racer was launched to great acclaim. In 1967, the closing of the Redditch factory in 1967 was the end of an era, but production of the 736cc Interceptor continued at the Westwood Underground factory. Aisha Motors acquired Enfield India in 1994 and the company re-established itself as Royal Enfield Motors Limited. In 2008, the retro-styled Classic was introduced, complete with a new fuel-injected 500cc unit construction engine. The Classic rapidly acquired cult status when it became available in the home market and sales grew exponentially. The global expansion continued with the opening in 2013